how's it going guys it's your friendly scripter orange here and today we're going to be doing a scripting tutorial now this tutorial was suggested and this was probably the best suggestion i have received and i actually have never thought of this so today we're going to be learning how to make sound effects and in this case we're going to make stepping sound effects so basically walking on different materials will give you a different sound effect so first off what you want to do is open up studio if you haven't already and then you want to make sure you get some sound effects today we're only going to do two sound effects because we're I'm just going to show you guys how to do multiple sound effects so I don't really have to make another tutorial on this so first off, just find your sound effects. In this case, I'm going to look for brass effect, something like that. And um, you want something like walking on. And so, um, you just want to keep searching until you find yourself the perfect sound you want. So in this case, um, brass sound maybe I'll find a good one so yes so this one uh, you want one that will only um, basically play once it's a quick sound and then you probably want one more um, so walking on concrete And basically you just want to find one more effect so step effect or step sound step sound and perfect now this so basically um today we're gonna be doing sand and uh, this cobblestone because um, uh, just just because um, sand kind of sounds like um, the the grass one and I'm just gonna quickly call this grass and call this one um, concrete so basically today what we're going to do is go ahead to start a player press the arrow now go to start their character scripts and insert a script and you may be wondering why we're inserting a script it's because we want to throw the script inside the, of the character and um, this anything here really will automatically be cloned inside the character so let's go ahead and do this um we can call this sound effect and there we go now on um, local character now we can't do local player because local player is for the client and we're not dealing with the client here we're doing um a service script so local character equals script dot parent because this is going to be cloned into the character and the character is script's parent all right so what are we going to do specifically well what we're going to do is make a table so local sound table equals um this and you just want to give a key so in this case i could do um sand and equals and equals um just go to the grass and you want to go ahead to the sound ID make sure your properties and Explorer are opened if you don't know how to open them it right here under the view tab um, you want to copy the sound ID and paste it in and then um, I believe we have to um, close this up all right that might work so I'm actually not too familiar with tables but I know um, them to some degree uh, so then we need uh, let's just say cobblestone and make sure you name it actually cobblestone because um, we're going to be changing the um, sound based on the name so this cobblestone make sure it's um, cobblestone no capital S and go ahead to concrete and copy the sound ID and paste it in and make sure you have these little dot thingies um, they'll make sure you don't get a red line 
So now that we got that down, let's go ahead and uh, figure out what we need to, how we're going to activate it. So in this case, when you walk on something, which requires your foot, so in this case, we're going to go with any foot is fine, left foot, uh, dot left foot. We can do a quick wait for child. Anything is fine, really. And we're just going to um, do a touch. So, um, when we touch something, basically when we're walking, um, this is going to run. So let's go ahead and do if h dot um, h um, h dot parent is not equal to character and h dot parent dot parent is not equal to character. This is just making sure it's not ourselves and um, and that's really it. Um, let me think. All right, I don't think we need anything really. Um, let's just see how this goes. And basically, each time we step on something, local sound equals instance dot new sound sound dot sound id equals h um, sound table h dot um, material. And I think that's fine unless we gotta do dot name, but let's just see how this goes. Sound dot parent equals um, workspace, or we can just put it in the left foot. And what we wanna do is actually add Debris. Um, basically, this will automatically destroy items without stopping the script. So, um, sound play and um, game. Well, Debris add item sound and we can destroy it after one second because after one second we can guarantee that the sound has played so let's go ahead and test this out uh, it's taking a while to load so yeah I think that's really it and got enum item all right so okay so this actually your erred we actually need dot name there and um and actually one more quick thing and um sound table um actually i did this wrong as well sound table and sound table h dot material dot name so basically this makes sure is that it won't error as long as you find the material in this table. So um so basically what As you can see it plays. Now um you would want to disable the default sound. Um I'm not going to do that today. And you may um, think, hey, this is playing way too fast. Um, it's playing too many times. This is where debounce comes in, and debounce, and debounce. Then, so basically, assuming that the sound is around twenty point five seconds, um, debounce equals false. Uh, wait zero point five or so, and then debounce equals true. So the sound will play every. Um, 0.5 seconds and yeah so let's go ahead and try this this should be a better version all right this actually can be decreased to improve so honestly based on what your game um, based on your walk speed and everything like that you may have to change this So if we look inside the character and look at the left foot, hold on, let me quickly check. Its parent is actually the left foot. All right. So, oh, we're we're looking at the right foot. All right, my bad. Um, left foot. As you can see, um, it just keeps playing, and you can decrease this even a little more. I say, um, it'd be good. So you can also increase the volume of the sound. You can manage the properties. Do whatever you would like.
and you of course you can get a different sound effect and all that and I say we can even lower this a little more and yeah so this is really it another thing you can do to improve this is you could just put this at point one but instead you can duplicate this put this down and instead of the left foot you can add a right foot so that it will somewhat be more in sync now scripting is all about thinking and thinking about stuff like how to do stuff there are many ways to script one thing you may think um there's only one way but no that's not true there are many many ways and um um there are so many ways in fact that uh it's it's um it's incredible on how many things you can do with with how many same things you can do with different codes of as you can see that sounded much better than before instead of not very in sync this time as you walk up and down it'll, it'll, it'll feel more in sync but the thing is whenever you move like this it will create a sound but that's really it for today's tutorial um, make sure to disable the default sound if you would like to um, this is how you guys should be scripting in order to get things such as sound effects down I'll go ahead and let you guys copy this um, here you go take a good look and I'll see you guys next time thank you guys for joining me and make sure to comment down below if you got any um, suggestions and I'll see you guys next time you don't